Welcome to an episode of Car Project. This is going to be an easy, easy, easy video. We're going to change the oxygen sensor, bank one, sensor one. This works for bank two, sensor one. It's the same. This is on a 2007 or 8. I think 2008. Uh, Nissan uh, Frontier is the Nismo one, 4x4. Okay, but it works the same with the regular one. Uh, the first step you want to do is going to remove the tire so you can have access. And I'll show you where bank one is. Down here. So once you go underneath, you barely lift that. And then right here, that's the oxygen sensor. And then right there, that little white thing like that. The other white thing. The is the connector. Okay. Now, word of advice: before you do this, make sure that the car has not been driven for at least four hours or five. Preferably, uh, you would want to do this early in the morning when the car rested overnight, because these pipes right here they get extremely, extremely hot, and therefore making the oxygen sensor uh, extremely hot. If you live in an area where there's a lot of wind, I mean a, a lot of sun, these can get heat up pretty good. So what I ended up doing is, I used a fan, I blew it here, left it there for 20 minutes, and now they're pretty, they're warm still, but not that hot, you know, I can still touch them. Okay, and the reason is, you want to put your hand, you're going to be able to put your hand through here and here in order to disconnect it from there, so allow me to show you that okay so as you can see your hand can easily fit here um, the only thing is that you got to be careful with these metals right here and the metal right here because they, oops, they tend to get really hot okay but it's basically uh, putting in a clip and I'm plugging it so put your hand in Believe it or not, oh. ah, it is so pretty hot. So, you see that clip right there? See that little thing here? You're gonna want to press the hard, and when you press it, you pull it. Now let me try it. This metal piece right here is still pretty hot, even though I left it here. That's why. It's a lot better if you do this overnight. And the metals are not hot. Now, all you want to do is just press this really quick, uh, really hard, okay? Uh, because it's still pretty hot, everything around, I'm trying not to get burned. And once I put my hand, you won't be able to see it, but just trust me when I say it. All you got to do is press on this hard and then pull on the oxygen sensor and it should come off, okay? Be patient with it. You don't want to break it. If you break this from over there, that's part of the harness and your screw, okay? Be very careful. Patience is the key. Okay, so once you uh, press, like I said, really hard, this comes off, and voila. Now that's the easy part. The hard part is going to be taking it off from here. Now, they have two types of step tools that you can use for this. Unfortunately, the only one they had at the store was 
was this one okay which still works yeah you know, you're gonna put it there and you just have to go underneath you can just put it there and you have to go underneath but if it would have got the other one it's a socket then it goes on top and then with your ratchet it would just gonna click making it a lot easier unfortunately they did not have a, a 3d different auto parts that i went they didn't have it so it's probably because everybody's at home trying to work on their cars all right let me set it up and i'll show you all right so as you can see i put it in there okay and this is why i'll, I'll show you how it would have been easier the other way but this is how i have to do it now okay now you just pull it be very careful because this is really really hard it's better if you put like some wd-40 there before doing this i don't have any but i'll be able to and like i said all you do is just pull pull really hard and it'll come off all right Yes, I was trying to do it the correct way, but it didn't work. Luckily, I have a 22 long range. It fit perfectly there. And I grab the hammer and then just hammer it down and loosen it up. Okay. And I can show you. Loosen it.
Once you break it from the first one, it's pretty easy. Just uncomfortable, but it's easy. And there you go. Good change. Now we put the new one in. It comes with pre. Uh, Anises, but you can add more if you like and pretty much the same procedure okay you're gonna tighten it by hand and tighten it with the tool which again if you would have got in the socket one this would have been a lot easier but and again nothing is ever easy when you're working on cars is it? I forgot to tell you, I always want to compare them, make sure they're the same length, okay, and everything. Alright, make sure that the connectors are the same, in this case they are. So just tighten it, plug it back in, and you're done. Okay, there it is. So once you tighten it by hand, oops, you're going to grab the range, the correct range, whatever you have, and then this. You plug it back in, remember what I show you? Right there, you can see it right there. Right there. Okay. And that's it. You're done. Put the tire back on. And you're set. Okay. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to my channel. And put a like on the button. I really appreciate it. Thank you. Bye-bye.